Hi, welcome to my next video. Even though we finished the big movie project in our studio, I'm still busy. So I have just a little time to do my stuff. The house my hero is living in plays a big role in my next project. So I decided to gather some materials from the internet and some photos I took on one of my trips and make a detailed plan of how exactly the building is built and how exactly it looks inside uh, the first floor, the second floor also. So I set out to do really detailed concept sketch of both the floors. The problem is that this is a quite old Japanese style detached house and houses like this are built um, using some really strict rules in terms of size and for example how the doors work and how the tatami mats are laid inside the size of the mats is decided so a room cannot be just a random size and etc etc and the size of the doors the size of the doors from for the uh, the sliding doors is also decided so there are lots of rules uh, guiding the designing process and I know some of them because I did work on the backgrounds uh, for animated uh, movies and series and when we paint the backgrounds we try to uh, make them realistic so we have to uh, know some of the rules but yeah I probably broke like a hundred of, of, of Japanese architectural uh, rules on the way uh, designing this thing. I used a lot of photos that I found on uh, Japanese chintai sites, so the sites where you can rent or buy uh, apartments and then you there you can find some nice photos of apartments and buildings without the furniture so you can understand the, the shape and the size and how it's made. I also tried to imagine how a character like this uh, would behave just after he moved into this house. He bought this house and he moved into this house. So the things that I put inside also uh, kind of reflect uh, what he would do. For this picture I used uh, a paper that has no texture. It's not strictly a watercolor paper, it's the TMK Kent. And even though it's nice and heavy, I actually regret using this paper because it didn't work so well. I did the pencil drawing with a 2B pencil and then I scanned it without the colors. So later in post-production I overlaid the lines, the pencil lines on the watercolors to make the lines better. And I'm using my standard uh, 48 colors watercolor set and my usual Holbein Resable Mini brushes. I recently did a quite big post about the tools I use, including the pencils, the paints, the inks, the multi-liners, the copics, the everything, on my blog. So if you want to read about what tools I use in my everyday work, you can go to my website and there is a new thing in the menu called Tools and I will update this page with my new findings. Okay, so this is the final picture and actually I did the second floor also. I will be also posting more updates of this project on my blog and Instagram and see you in the next video. Bye!